I'd already decided I was going to dance a Morris jig, which is something you just do on your own with your hankies. I said to the lady organiser, would it be a bit cheeky to pass the hat round and kind of say, oh look, I've just got this place on this event. She's like, no, no, let's do it. So we passed the hat round after I'd done the jig and raised them £130, I think it was. Just that first weekend, having got the place on Friday, that was on the Saturday. <laughs> I was like, yes, right, we're on, we're, on we go, we're started. The local brewery, Timothy Taylor's, very kindly gave me a bottle of beer for every runner. Well, my wife's school supported me, they did a curry sale, and so I got to use a school for free. They sold curry and pakoras to all the runners. I wrote to my employer and I persuaded them to give me quite a chunk of money. I've worked for them for nearly 15 years and that's that's in the field of working with adults who've, who've been in prison. So. I have a big connection to working with disadvantaged people. So I was quite committed to the cause of young people and, and Brave Aid really fitted with that, looking at the work that they do across the north of England in all sorts of communities. There's so much positivity about what they're, they're doing. The more I learn about what they do, the more I'm really thankful that I'm doing this and the more I want to raise more money <laughs> for the work that they do. Physically and mentally, it takes everything. Running takes everything. Often, you know, you can hear that voice going, oh, you can't run any further, you can't, you can, how can you manage to do that? And, and then it's about that inner strength going, oh, well, I can, I'll just run this mile. At the end of the day, you can get round. It's painful, you get bits are going to fall off, you are going to be have days when you just want to be left alone and curl up and die, and it feels how it feels. But if you walk it, you can finish it. The headmaster of my primary school said I wouldn't amount to anything. You know, at the time when I was at school, it was kids from a single parent family. That was it, you were written off. So, you know, no hope. Trouble with the police. How difficult it is for some young people, you know, if they end up in care or a parent dies, all kinds of issues. Wherever there's light, the darkness can't overwhelm it. And it, you only need that tiny, tiny little spark of light. So even when you're out running in the dark on my own, I, when I know I'm not going to see anyone, there's a definite strength that comes from just knowing I'm not alone.